right hello good evening for my son i'm going to do a tutorial for something that he asked me to prepare so he asked me to make coconut curry shrimp and chicken um to go over some pasta weird right but anyway we're gonna do it so here i have some chicken boneless chicken cut up and i have that's about maybe 40 or 50 shrimp raw shrimp and um i have Sweet pe uh, hot pepper here cut up. I have three different color sweet peppers, scallion, one carrot, three cloves of garlic, a half an onion, a couple sprigs of thyme, and here I have in this bowl a tablespoon of black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, salt, um, and I also have some all spices that I have crushed. Stay tuned for the tutorial. So I'm back and in the pot I had put in about a half a cup of oil um, and I put in a, a tablespoon of curry to burn in the oil and then I put the boneless chicken in and I kind of like started to um, saute it. And I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to add in my other ingredients and I'm going to add in my powdered seasoning that I showed you before. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to saute this together for a few seconds. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in, whoops, I'm going to add in my can of coconut milk that I have, which is right here. My can of coconut milk and I'm going to open it and I'm going to pour it in and I'm going to let that cook for about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes before I add in the shrimp. Stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back and you can see that this is like a thick consistency. And the carrot is now cooked to where I can cut it with a spoon or it looks translucent, which means you can kind of see through the carrot. That means it's cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the, um, the shrimp. And I'm going to let that just cook for another maybe about five to six minutes and then I will come back and I will show you the finished results. This is a lot of shrimp. Sucking up all the coconut juice. But that's how we want it. We want it kind of thick anyway so that we can just pour it over the pasta and eat it. All right, stay tuned. By the way, you're seeing a few little pieces of bones because I added those in there. I wanted it, so. All right, stay tuned. And here we are back again. And now the shrimp is cooked. As you can tell, it is now a different color. It's shrunken and it's now pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this off, which once I turn off the fire, the gravy will get a little more firm, but it's perfect where I want it because we have a lot of pasta for it to go over, so. All right, so that's it. That is coconut curry, chicken and shrimp. This is the, the sauce or the meat, however you want to call it. Um, and it's going to go over pasta, penne pasta. So stay tuned for the pic that um, will have the full meal plated. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try it. Have a pleasant evening all.